Greetings from the Northwoods of Michigan's Upper Peninsula. I'm Natasha, your plant-centered lifestyle guide, and you're tuned into my weekly video where I provide tips and inspiration for those of you on your plant-centered journey. If you're tuning in for the first time, please know that at the end of the video, I provide an explanation of plant-centered living that I think you'll find to be useful. Today's topic is don't drink your calories. This is often a topic that people don't even really think about. When you've made the transition to a plant-centered lifestyle, you're focusing on things like not using added oil in the meal prep that you're doing. You might be eating more whole foods. You're eating less processed packaged foods. You're feeling better. Things are going well. You're excited. But there's something that's just not quite right. Maybe it's that you're not shedding some of those pounds like you thought you might when you adopted a plant-centered lifestyle, or perhaps you are still feeling aches and pains. Some fuzzy thinking is going on. Maybe you're waking up groggy in the morning and you're wondering, why is that? I'm eating so much healthier than I ever did before. Well, it could be because you're drinking a lot of additional calories, empty calories that your body doesn't need. And there are many people out there, and you might be one of them, that drink coffee all day long and you put creamer and sugar in it. Well, that's a lot of additional calories that your body just doesn't need. Or do you drink iced tea all day long? Sweetened tea, maybe. It also has a lot of caffeine which could be the reason you're not sleeping so well and that you're waking up feeling groggy. All of these beverages that are marketed to us at every turn really are wreaking havoc on our health, even when we're doing so many things to eat right. But we're undermining all of that goodness by the continued assault on our body with all of those beverages that have those empty calories, sometimes extra caffeine, and also artificial sweeteners, artificial dyes, and other ingredients. So let's take a look at what many of you might be drinking throughout the day and focus on what you can do instead. And what you can do instead is drink water. Okay, well that sounds kind of boring, but I can tell you that for me personally, I also am not a big water drinker. So what do I do? I add things like fruit. So strawberries or lemon wedges or other citrus like grapefruit or perhaps oranges. I make those slices. I put them in a pitcher of water, put it in my refrigerator and let it sit overnight because then that citrus infuses in there. Or what I also do is cut up cucumbers. And what about some fresh sprigs of mint and a little bit of lemon juice? Put that in a pitcher with some water in your fridge. Spectacular. So there are ways that you can jazz up the water and make it more palatable, make it more exciting, make it something that you want to drink throughout the day so that you can use that water to replace all that tea or coffee or lemonade that you're drinking throughout the day. Now, I'm not saying not to ever drink any of those types of beverages, but it shouldn't be something that you are doing and getting a lot of your calories from. So I encourage you, take a look at what you're doing throughout the day as far as your beverages. And oftentimes the likely culprits are that morning cup of coffee or that morning specialty drink that you get at your local coffee shop that you make at home or maybe you drive through Starbucks because it might be loaded with alternative milks like almond milk or coconut milk that contain a lot of oil and that also contain a lot of sugar. And if you're doing that every single day, that adds up over time. Or if you're someone who's drinking caffeinated beverages throughout the entire day, your body gets habituated to that. But the problem is, is that it doesn't allow your body downtime at night because you're so jazzed up and then you don't sleep well. And then in the morning, you are groggy when you wake up. So also keep in mind that if you're weaning yourself off of lemonade or tea, other caffeinated, other beverages that might be caffeinated other than, you know, the lemonade, uh, that you may go through a withdrawal period. You might get headaches, you might feel shaky, you might not feel good, your body might detox, but 
ultimately what you want to get to is where you are drinking water as your primary beverage throughout the day when you need to grab something um, to keep up your hydration. Well, I hope that this has given you just a little bit to think about in that those extra calories in your drinks throughout the day might be the underlying culprit for why you're not feeling great and why you haven't lost some of that weight that you were hoping to lose when you adopted a plant-centered lifestyle. So thanks so much for listening. Have a great week. Take care, and I'll talk to you soon.